Hello, my name is Ezra and welcome to the Downsview Chrysler YouTube channel, where today I'll be reviewing this 2022 Chrysler Grand Caravan SXT. This is a great van for growing families, moving large groups of people, or anyone working in the trades that needs a lot of cargo space. Starting off with the wheels, you have 17-inch aluminum rims with Yokohama all-season tires. Behind the wheels, you have anti-lock disc brakes with rain brake support and ready alert braking. What is rain brake support? Well, when it's raining, the brake pads brush up lightly against the rotor to wipe off the water and keep them dry, which means you can stop in time every time. As for ready alert braking, that means when you suddenly lift your foot off the gas and slam on the brakes, the car senses that you're panicked and gives you all the braking force that it has. Other safety features included on the Chrysler Grand Caravan are electronic stability control, meaning that in slippery road conditions, the car will automatically apply the brakes to keep you driving in a straight line. Electronic roll mitigation, meaning if you take a corner too fast and the outside tires lift up off the ground, the brakes are automatically engaged to bring those wheels back down. And hill start assist. That's when you're moving from a dead stop on a hill, the car will hold the brakes for an extra two seconds to let you get your foot over to the gas so that you do not roll forward or backward. Next, we move on to the second row of the Grand Caravan. To get in, it has power sliding doors that can be opened either by pulling the handle or by double clicking a button on the key fob. A great feature here is that while you're pumping gas, if your kids were to try and get out of the car, the door would hit your hand. To combat this, if the fuel door is open, the driver's side rear door will not open, even without the child lock on. Check it out. Once you're inside the second row seats, you'll notice that there's a lot of room back here. Now, I'm only 5'7", but even if I were over 6 feet, I would still be extremely comfortable. The second row passengers also have cup holders in the door sills as well as their own climate controls mounted on the ceiling. If you do not want the rear passengers playing with the climate controls, they can be locked from the front seats. Getting to the third row of the Grand Caravan is as easy as walking in a straight line. Because of the second row captain's chairs, there is a pass through in the middle that you can just walk right through. But for whatever reason, if you don't want to walk through, the middle seats also fold forward to let you sneak through into the third row. Once you're in the third row, you'll see that I still have lots of headroom and legroom back here, as well as my own cup holders. Moving back to the second row, I want to talk about storage. Say you have a first aid kit or a tool kit that you like to keep in your car. Well, rather than having it take up space in the trunk, you can keep it under the floor in the in-floor storage bins. To access the in-floor storage bins, all you do is move the front seats all the way up and pull on a little latch right here. When you pull on that latch, the floor comes up and reveals this huge storage space, and you have this on both sides of the car. The other thing that these bins are used for is Chrysler's stow-and-go system. The stow-and-go system lets you fold the second and third row seats of this van flat into the floor so that you can load larger items like furniture or, if you work in the trades, sheets of plywood or drywall. To fold the second row seats down, first you open up the little storage cubby that I showed you earlier, then you pull on this little strap right here labeled stow and go. After that, you push the seat forward into its little hiding spot and close the cubby. The third row, of course, also has stow and go. To use it, you just pull on the straps and away it goes, down into the floor. The rear seat is a 60-40 split folding bench seat, which allows you to configure the seats in any way you want. With the rear seats down, you have over 140.5 cubic feet of space. That's enough for 350 NBA regulation size basketballs. Say you do have the third row up and ready to be sat in, there is still more than enough space in the trunk for all your cargo. To open the trunk, you, all you do is push the button under the handle or double click the button on the key fob.
Once open, though, you'll see that the floor is not flat, but rather sunken to accommodate more things without blocking the driver's view out the rear windshield. This, combined with the second row in-floor storage bins, allow you to take the whole family on a road trip without having to pack lightly or worry about space getting cramped in the car. When getting groceries in your grand caravan, you don't want them falling out of the bag and rolling around in the trunk. To combat this, Chrysler's given you grocery bag hooks on the back of the rear seats so that you can hang up your bags and the groceries inside don't come spilling out. Also in the trunk, you have a 12 volt outlet where you can plug in a laptop or a tablet, your tire inflator kit, or anything else that you might need in the trunk of your Grand Caravan. Your tire inflator kit can be found behind this panel in the trunk, along with your flat spare tire. To use your spare tire, you just pump it up with your inflator kit and swap it onto the car the way you would in any other car. Closing the trunk is just as easy as opening it was. You just push this little button right here on the inside of the car and the trunk starts to close. It gives you a few beeps to let you know to get out of the way first. On the outside of the tailgate, you have beautiful LED taillights as well as the backup camera mounted right here under the Chrysler logo. Okay, so that's a lot of storage, but what about everyday items that you need easy access to, like a purse or a laptop bag? Well, the Grand Caravan's got you covered, with amazing storage space in the front seats as well. To get into the front seats of the Grand Caravan, all you need to do is walk up and put your hand behind the door handle. The car will sense that the key is close as long as it's in your pocket or in your purse, and unlock and let you right in. In the front seats of the Grand Caravan, you again have room for both you and your things. While most cars forget about purses, bags, and umbrellas, the Grand Caravan has a special spot just for them. When I go anywhere with my mom, she always insists on putting her purse right on my lap and it drives me crazy. Well, in the Grand Caravan, you have a floor-mounted center console with four cup holders and a large area where you can put things like a purse or a laptop bag. You also have an area just for umbrellas on both sides of the front seat. They've even included a little picture of an umbrella, rain, and a happy face to show you exactly what you're supposed to put here. You also have a sunglasses holder mounted on the ceiling, as well as a large glove box on the passenger side, and a pull-out deep cubby mounted in the dashboard that even has a place to put coins for tolls, drive throughs or shopping carts. Also on the ceiling are your rear door controls. Buttons up there let you open or close the rear doors without having to get out of the car. So, when you're dropping off or picking up your kids at school, you can let them in and out of the car easily without having to go out into the real world, thus eliminating the need to do things like get dressed. There's also a button to lock the rear doors in case your rear seat passengers are prone to pushing buttons. The last thing on the ceiling is your wide view mirror. You just push this panel right here and it comes popping down. It lets you see your rear seat passengers without having to adjust your rear view mirror. That way, you can make eye contact with little Timmy when you're yelling at him about bugging his sister. Moving on to the driver's seat features, I'll start with the door panel. On the door panel, you have your switches for your windows, as well as two little storage cubbies where you can put little items like coins or your phone. You also have a larger storage panel on the bottom of the door sill, with a spot for a cup holder. Also on the door panel are your mirror controls. You can adjust left or right by toggling between them with these buttons and move them around with the joystick right up here. The mirrors are also heated, which means in cold weather, any snow or ice that builds up on the mirrors will just melt off without you having to scrape anything. Speaking of heating things up, the Grand Caravan comes with front cloth heated seats as well as a leather-wrapped heated steering wheel and remote start, letting you heat up the car before you get in it on cold winter days. Sitting in the nice warm driver's seat, you will have to get comfortable by adjusting the seat. Good news, the driver's seat is power adjustable from the buttons right here on the bottom of the seat. The steering column is also adjustable. You just pull the little lever right here and the whole thing can move up or down and in or out.
From the steering wheel with these arrows on the left, you can adjust what you see in your gauge cluster, whether it's the speedometer, the screen setup, messages, audio, stop start, trip info, fuel economy, or the vehicle info, everything is right at your fingertips. Below that, you have buttons where you can pick up or hang up phone calls, as well as your voice assistant, which lets you change things like the radio station or the temperature without your hands having to leave the steering wheel or your eyes needing to leave the road. Most cars let you adjust the volume and the radio station from the steering wheel. In this car, the controls for those are on the back of the steering wheel. On one side you have volume and on the other you have radio station. On the right side of your steering wheel you can find your cruise control controls as well as your wiper stock which allows you to use the front and rear wipers as well as the washer fluid for both windshields. The left stock, of course, is your turn signals and your high beams. Your high beams, along with your other headlights, are automatic, which means that when you're driving in the dark, the high beams will come on automatically. Moving on to the infotainment system in the Grand Caravan, it has a 7-inch screen with a fully customizable home page where you can add or remove widgets as you please to have it display whatever you would like. Next is the media screen, where you can listen to the radio or connect a phone via Bluetooth. You also have your climate controls where you can adjust temperature and fan speed in both the front and rear seats of the van. This van has tri-zone temperature control so that if your kids or your husband refuse to wear a coat, you can make it hotter for them but still nice for you. Next is your phone screen where you can make or take calls. Then you have your vehicle settings, and finally your apps page, where you can choose to see all your controls or select favorite controls that you use most often. No matter what page you are on though, there are always a couple things at the top of your screen. These include the time, the outside temperature, and your heated seats and steering wheel controls. On top of all of that, it does include completely wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so no messy cords cluttering up your interior. Below your screen are your climate controls, as well as your volume knob, your tune knob, the buttons to turn on and off the screen, mute the audio, turn on the hazards, or turn off the auto stop start. The auto stop start turns off the engine at red lights to save on gas. To the left of those controls, you have your push button start, as well as your electronic parking brake, and your rotary gear select. The rotary gear select is made of solid metal and feels really great to use. Below that, you have two USB ports and two USB-C ports for charging or connecting a phone, as well as the aux port if your passengers insist on DJing, but you still want your phone connected to make calls. You also have two more little storage cubbies where you can put things like a wallet or a parking pass. Under the hood of the Grand Caravan, there's a 3.6 liter V6 mated to a 9-speed automatic transmission. This combination gives you 287 horsepower and a 262 pound-feet of torque. The Grand Caravan also gets great fuel economy, with ratings as low as 8.4 liters per 100 kilometers highway and 12.4 liters per 100 kilometers city. There are also crumple zones under the hood, so that if you get into an accident, the car will absorb the impact rather than you and your passengers. There are also airbags that will deploy in the event of an accident. So there you have it, the 2022 Chrysler Grand Caravan SXT. Perfect for growing families, moving lots of people, or anyone working in the trades that means a lot of cargo space. This van and many like it are available right now at Downsview Chrysler. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And remember, my name is Ezra, and I'm here to assist you with all your car shopping needs.